All right, here we go. Um, this is part two to how to wheelie. Um, this video I'm gonna focus on, <laughs> excuse my voice, I just woke up, so I'm um, <laughs> uh, Anyways, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna focus on riding it out and hitting balance point. Um, you don't wanna hit balance point right off the bat because it's probably gonna scare the shit out of you. Um, unless you've been already chasing these out for a while, but the way I showed you in the beginning was to pop the clutch and just kind of easily ride it out, not really hit it too hard. Well, now you're going to basically be giving it a little bit more throttle. You want to get it higher and higher until you hit balance point, but you don't have to rush yourself. Just kind of um, go at your own pace. You know, if you want to raise it like this or this or, you know, uh, just take it easy. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I went over like pretty much all the basic n like do not do this um, in the first video so the only thing I really have to um, add to that was my tire pressure I never talked about that in the first video so yeah lower tire pressure is gonna give you more of a contact patch on the road so the higher pressure you are the smaller you're gonna get so when you're wheeling you don't want to be on a patch like this thin you want to be like you know somewhere in here um, you can still do it on high pressure but your wheelies are gonna be a little squirrely that's how mine are anyways if my tire pressure is too high so I run 30 in the rear and 32 in the front um, pretty much all around that that does good for cornering for me too um, so yeah but wheelies it definitely helps because more of a contact patch so I have more to balance on and I'm not weaving all around so let's hop into this video um, yeah we're kind of already in this video aren't we yeah okay anyways so I'm gonna do these in uh, sit down second gear um, on this bike 2012 Ninja 1000 I do them at like around 45 to 5,000 rpms um, this bike has a lot of torque. I could do it lower, but that's just where it feels the best for me. So, yeah, uh, I'll show you. I'm basically just going to get it, pop it up, just like I did in the first video. If you haven't seen that one, go watch it. Um, basically, just going to be popping it up and trying to find that, like, nice flow. Because once you hit balance point, you're going to, like, feel like your, your, your throttle hand is going to be, like, just steady like just stable like right there like usually mine's around like seven to eight thousand rpms is where I find balance point which is on this bike it's probably about 65 65 70 miles an hour somewhere around there so <laughs> that's pretty fast ain't it uh, anyways <laughs> just be careful don't hurt yourself uh, wear your gear because you don't want to mess up that pretty face of yours and if you're ugly, you don't want to make it any worse. <laughs> That's so f***ed up. I'm just kidding. Nobody's ugly. You're all beautiful. Um, Alright, so let's hop into this. Second gear. Second gear now. Try to kill some of this wind noise. Probably terrible. Uh, Alright, so second gear. There's a little straightaway right here. I can do a little one. Um, so basically, you're just going to want to pop it up and then you're just gonna ride it out so <laughs> yeah that's not really a good demonstration that was nowhere near balance point but uh, it was higher so like the higher you go the more the less rpms you're using so you can really like ride it out further and further the closer you get to balance point the higher it's gonna be obviously but at the same time it's gonna be like super comfortable and you'll feel yourself just kind of flowing and it's such a great feeling once you hit that all right so like i said second gear i'm gonna pop it up and once i do i'm gonna try to catch it at my balance point and once i catch it i'm basically just gonna be trying to hold this throttle steady and keeping it there and just like rotting it out as long as I can keep it, you know, balanced. So, do one right here. Another thing is you can lean 
clean off the side of the bike like I was just doing. I don't know if you can hear me because it's so loud and the wind noise is probably terrible. But yeah, um, once you get up so high, you're probably not going to be able to see around your windscreen. So you're going to want to um, kind of lean off to the side of the bike. Either way, some people do the right, some people do the left. I do the left. Um, and that's going to give you, you, you'll be able to see where the fuck you're going. <laughs> Sit downs. Because I'm not like a super tall person. I'm 5'11". So, I mean, I can see over my windscreen for the most part when I'm wheeling. But once you get it so high, it's like you really got to lean over. Otherwise, you're just going to not be able to see where the fuck you're going. And that, you don't want that. All right. So, second gear. 4,500 RPMs. Uh, I'm just gonna pop the clutch just like I taught you in first part one just pop the clutch get it up there and just once you find that balance point, you'll feel it you're like teetering um, you're teetering like so and once you get up there you want to really make sure you're comfortable with your uh, rear brake because if you go up too high you can tap that rear brake and you'll come right back down so I mean once the closer you get to balance point the like more dangerous it's gonna get obviously but if you get yourself comfortable with that rear brake, you're gonna be able to control those wheelies and not feel like you're gonna flip over. So let's see if I can hold out one right here. If you could see my RPMs just now, I was pretty much floating at around 75 to 8,000 RPMs. So, and that's a good balance because uh, that gives you—you you still have that that torque, and you're still in the um, you're still in your power band. So you're not like running out of power to keep it up. You're basically just flowing it right there, and it's just gonna feel great. I mean, once you get to balance point. Your wheelies will become totally different. I mean, you will just completely flow. Everything goes smooth. Um, just remember to keep your fucking <laughs> keep your right foot always facing or um, covering your rear brake. Is everybody looking at me like I'm doing dangerous stuff? What the fuck? I'm not a hooligan. Well, I'm not a hooligan, but I feel like one sometimes. Yeah, that's not even how that song goes, but. <laughs> that guy's loving this right now. All right, here we go. See, so right now I'm at like, I'm kind of chasing it right now. I'm already at nine, ten, gonna put it down. So, I mean, sometimes you will have to chase them if you can't hit that balance point. Uh, like just now, I was kind of like weaving a little bit before I even got up there, so. Yeah, just uh, just be safe and wait till you get comfortable before you try anything too crazy. <laughs> He's loving it. All right, so one more thing is I've had a lot of uh, people comment and ask me if I would teach stand-ups too and honestly I wanted to go over balance point but first because I think you should get more comfortable with balancing it before you start standing up because it's a little awkward at first but I'll do a stand-up real quick and kind of show you where I'm at if I can hit a decent one real quick and if you guys would like a part three on stand-ups just comment below see what we can do with it all right here we go was third gear stand up <laughs> staggered left foot on the rear passenger peg um, so yeah if you guys would like to see a part three on those 
comment below. I hope I can help you guys out hitting balance point. It's gonna take you a little while. Just like I said, don't rush it. Um, just take your time, get comfortable with the shit. <laughs> You really don't want to mess up your pretty face! Alright, so I'm gonna end this video right now.